Hello, this is John from OneHourAcademy.com. Welcome to Lesson 3 of HTML in One Hour. In this lesson, we're really going to start using Aptana Studio 3 to its fuller potential by creating a two-page website. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new project under File, New, Web Project. Okay, we'll go with the default project, keep everything simple for now. And I'm going to call it Virus Site. If I can spell that properly. There we go. And finish. Okay, so inside Virus Site, we're going to start with a new page or a new file. Okay, and we're going to call it index.htm, which, by the way, is the default name that all web servers go to when they're looking for the home page of a website. So all website designers know this rule that you always save your home page as index.htm. It's just one of those things that web servers know to go looking for as a home page. So we're going to do the same thing. So index.htm, it's a special name reserved for the home page. So we'll hit finish and we'll get a blank editor screen. So here's the web page that we're trying to make. Boom, right there. I've got it shrunk down so that it, it you know fits better into my window. But we're going to start by, um, you know, and, and by the way, this is all in the body tag, right? Remember I said that whatever you put in the body is what shows up in the actual page, except for this piece up here, all about viruses. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself because first thing we got to do is start with our eight tags that I've taught you already. Let's quickly go and put those in. So there's the HTML tag. Just press enter, bring that down. Then there's the head. And again, Aptana makes this step a lot faster. Actually, it makes all the steps a lot faster. There's the title tag, just because it does a lot of the typing for us, and we can just press enter to have it finish the code off for us. Okay, and if you recall, I showed you this just very quickly, but we'll keep going back to it. Um, all about viruses is the title that I want to show up in the page tab here. So that's what I just put here. All about viruses. Okay, and then our most important and biggest area is the body tag. And there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to start actually creating the web page. So the first thing I want to do is put a big title and a line underneath that title to get us going. Because you can see that right here. Computer viruses and this line. So a title is a heading tag. So I'm going to start with the H1 tag. And again, if I start typing H, you can see the different heading sizes here, 1 through 6. 1 being the largest and 6 being the smallest. So the, the higher the number gets, the smaller you get. Um, 6 is actually a very tiny size heading. So we'll do H1. We'll work with a few other heading sizes later on as well. Okay, and um, at this point I think what I'm going to do is call the page up here in the corner so I can kind of work on it at the same time. Okay, so computer viruses. Okay. What follows that is this thing called HR, which is a horizontal ruler, which gives us the line that you see there. Okay, then we go into just a regular paragraph, which a lot of web pages have. Paragraphs are P tags. So you just do P and slash P, and what you put in the middle is your paragraph. So I'm going to start typing this now, but um, I'm not going to have you watch me do the entire thing, even though it's just a small paragraph. I'm going to pause it and then pick up where we left off when I'm done this and then you can meet up with me there. So just give me one second here. So I finished typing this paragraph but it's traveled me all the way out away from the rest of my tags here. So the other thing you can do at some point if you right click in your editor window you can choose uh, word wrap which is right down here at the very bottom. Not sure if you can see that or not. There we go. Okay so that that makes it a little easier for me to see everything. Okay, so, so I've just finished typing the first paragraph. One thing I haven't done yet is put in a hyperlink from the word virus to another page. That will come in a, in a later lesson. So now I'm ready to do this list here, this bullet point list. That's also called an unordered list because it's not ordered like this numbered list down here. There's no order to this, it's just bullet points. So to start an unordered list, I type the UL tag, and then it's going to give me the ending UL. Okay, and each bullet point is an LI tag or a list item. Okay, and then I just type in each list item here, displaying annoying messages. Okay, and I'll just hit the end key on my keyboard so I can go to another line, do another LI tag, causing 
programs to run incorrectly. And one more bullet point. Erasing the contents of the hard drive. Okay, and then the slash ul ends the bullet point list. So now I've got another mini paragraph, we'll call it, even though it's just a couple of words. It is another paragraph technically, so I'm going to put it in p tags. In order to protect against viruses, notice I didn't pause that time because that wasn't enough words to, to, to make you have to sit through, so hopefully you were able to keep uh, pace with me there. This is an ordered list, so I'm going to go OL. Okay, OL stands for ordered list. And now I'm going to use the li tag again, but this time my li's won't become bullets, they'll become numbers instead. That's the only difference, really. An anti virus program. And then one more li. Update antivirus definitions regularly. I think it would help if I use smaller words in my sample web page. Easier to spell. Okay, so we're at the bottom here. Um, this is going to be another heading, um, but it's going to be smaller than the first heading. So we're going to try an H3 this time. So I'm just going to finish off with H3. And there it is. And in between there, I'm going to put report by and then obviously you can put your own name since you did your own web page and that's it that's our first complete web page okay so hopefully as you went through and you saw the split screen here um, what to get out of this what you need to try to understand how these tags translate into making your page look like this now just to prove that this actually looks like this let's bring this back to full screen mode again so we can just see our web page okay so I'm going to save this and I'm going to push preview and there's my page just like the preview okay but it loads up in Firefox so there's your first web page and um, hopefully you got that to work for you in our next lesson we're gonna do a two-part lesson to do the next part because the second page involves tables involves images and we probably need to cover two lessons to do that so uh, this is John from One Hour Academy. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back for the next lesson. Bye for now.